Hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you today? It's great to be back. Thank you for being on time, Magdiel, Francisco, Elizabeth, Daniel, Aymara, Jose, and Luis. How are you doing? How was your day? Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? It's great to be back. I'm happy to see you again. Me too. <laughs> are you okay? Are you at home or are you driving? No, I'm at home. Are you at home? How yeah. was your vacation? A good. <laughs> Did you visit any interesting place? No, not really in my house. <laughs> We're at home. Yes. Mm, that's fine. I was at home too. <laughs> and the rest of you, did you have a good vacation? Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Awesome. Um, what did you do at your vacation? I stayed at home. You stayed home? Yes, I was working in oh. my home. Oh, you worked at home doing yeah. fixing things that needs to be fixed? Uh, yes, I was fixing my car. Oh. Um, okay. I, I, I had only three, two days. Two days, Three days uh, off. Vacation. Thursday wow. and Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. And I'm ready today. Ready for today's class. Very good. Thank you so much for being on time. And I see that we okay. have new students. So welcome to the new students. Welcome, Alex, Elizabeth, I think Jose. Hey, welcome. Daniel Martinez also, and Vidal Byron. Okay, yes, we have a couple of new students here today. So for the new students, my name is Flor Guerrero, and I'm going to be your facilitator in this module. Is this your first class uh, with us with English Corporativo, or you were in the previous modules with us? Alex? No, well, I'm new at uh, English Corporative, yeah. And <laughs> welcome. Okay. okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to start sharing. So most of you were with me the previous two models, I guess, or three, three models. We have been working together and it's been a pleasure. So most of you know me. My name is Flor Guerrero and about me, most of my teaching uh, experience has been in, in this uh, well, in this academy and two more, yes. Uh, most of my working experience have been in the teaching field and three years in the call center industry, but I'm an English teacher. I was graduated from the University of El Salvador. So it's a pleasure to be here teaching with us. This is what I love doing. I love teaching and I hope that we have fun together. We learn a lot of things that let me share the presentation. In the WhatsApp group, I share two files. I share the material that you should have downloaded from the platform and also this presentation. This is like, a, like our, my lesson plan. <laughs> We work with this, but you can work also with your um, student book. Most of this uh, material that we will be studying here is taken from that, uh, from the in support material and some other extra exercises. Um, so to start with the guidelines for the new people, we have like tareas, y evaluaciones. Eh, necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Tenemos 
un par de requisitos para dar por completado su eh, curso. Uno es el cumplimiento de las tareas de la plataforma. No se dejan tareas adicionales, solamente las que están en la plataforma. Esas son las que ustedes tienen que trabajar y aparte tienen que ir adelantándose. Porque pues eh, como para hacer la reserva de cupos, tiene que verse que ha habido avance en la plataforma y no necesariamente tenemos que ir como al mismo eh, tiempo que los temas que vamos cubriendo en clase, porque hay temas que nos toman más tiempo cubrirlos eh, que otros. Entonces, por eso se les recomienda que ustedes se adelanten en la plataforma. Eh, igual, cualquier duda eh, que tengan sobre algún ejercicio lo pueden hacer llegar a través del grupo de WhatsApp. Vamos a hablar también de ese grupo más adelantito. Eh, como les mencionaba, las tareas son, eh, están en la plataforma, dice justo después de cada clase, porque los videos de la clase también se suben a la plataforma al día siguiente. Por ejemplo, la clase de ahorita, de, del día de ahora, va a estar en la plataforma mañana, a más tardar en el transcurso de la mañana. Eh, y también tienen un enlace por si se perdieron algún momento de la clase, que no pudieron estar a tiempo o por algo de motivo no la pudieron recibir, pueden eh, revisar en la playlist de YouTube que es específica para este módulo. Eh, todas las tareas y temas tienen que estar complementados antes de... Aquí dice martes, pero bueno, se nos han movido un poco la fecha, ¿verdad? Así es que, pues... Eh, ustedes se adelantan y no necesariamente, como les digo, tienen que ir a la parte de cómo vamos en la clase. El manual se puede descargar de la plataforma por si no lo habían hecho. También ya se les mandó eh, vía WhatsApp y no utilizamos material de tercero en ninguna sesión. Solo los que nosotros pues incluimos aquí en nuestras presentaciones. Y tenemos... También ciertos requerimientos al momento de conectarse, verifiquen y asegúrense por favor de con conectarse con el nombre completo porque ya nos ha sucedido que tenemos eh, personas cu cuyos nombres son mismo primer nombre, mismo segundo nombre y la diferencia es el apellido. Entonces se les pide que lo hagan con su nombre completo y... Eh, a veces también sucede que lo que nos aparece aquí es el nombre del dispositivo. Llámese que Samsung, que Galaxy, de, de dónde se conecten, Huawei, lo que sea. Entonces, asegúrense de escribir su nombre para que quede en el registro de Zoom. Porque si usted no deja así como Samsung, Galaxy, lo que sea, así aparece en el registro que deja Zoom cuando termina la sesión. Entonces, no hay manera de saber quién se conectó. A pesar de que nosotros pasamos lista, también se hacen eh, auditorías. Insafor hace auditorías de lo que se está registrando en Zoom. Entonces, por eso es importante que su nombre eh, esté escrito completo, ¿verdad? No el nombre del dispositivo eh, o no primer y segundo nombre, por lo que ya les comentaba. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre oyente, pues entiende las personas que no están eh, oficialmente inscritas o este o de repente, bueno, se ha tomado como que no puedo participar porque estoy en tráfico, porque estoy en reunión, porque todavía estoy en el trabajo. Entonces, escriben la palabra oyente en, y está bien. La cámara debe de estar encendida durante toda la, se la sesión. Esto... Eh, acuérdense que Insafor también hace auditorías de repente eh, ven, o ven la clase en vivo o ven las grabaciones después entonces no vaya a tocarnos la mala suerte y, y tengamos inconvenientes por eso si la tienen apagada por alguna razón porque están terminando de cenar porque van en el tráfico porque están en el trabajo pueden escribirlo al chat ya de la miren preferé preferiblemente porque ese chat queda guardado también. Eh, y eso también nos garantiza, ¿verdad?, la participación activa. Eh, por ejemplo, puedo de repente pedir que Daniel 
que Alex o que Mario participen porque los veo que están ahí. En cambio, estar llamando a alguien que está con la cámara apagada, que no sabemos si realmente está en la clase o está haciendo otra cosa, nada más sería perder el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso se... Eh, de preferencia que la participación sea voluntaria y activa, porque es la manera que nosotros sabemos, tenemos de corroborar si el tema se comprendió bien, si se están utilizando bien las estructuras, es la única manera. Y, y de que usted también cumpla su objetivo, ¿verdad? De aprender el idioma, eh, practicando y participando. Eh, asistencia al 100% de las clases. Esto es lo, lo ideal, que asistan al 100%, pues porque si no van a clases, no, no se aprende. <ríe> Entonces, eh, se dice que es un mínimo del 80% porque suceden cosas y entonces dejan ese margen por alguna emergencia, porque de repente tuvo problemas con el internet. Entonces, eh, se da ese margen. No es que mm, ah, tengo libre, por ejemplo, puedo perder unas dos clases del módulo, entonces hoy hay un partido, hoy termina la novela, entonces hoy no me voy a conectar. Traten de no, que ese, ese margencito que se deja, que sea realmente para una emergencia, pues porque cosas pasan. De repente estamos súper mal de salud y de verdad, de verdad, de verdad no se van a conectar. Entonces, eh, para eso es que se deja ese margencito y se les dice que es un mínimo del 80%. La asistencia la registra Zoom por minutos, desde el momento que usted se conecta. No es que ah, ya pasaron lista o ya me vieron, ya me puedo desconectar. En el momento que usted se desconecta, ahí para el conteo de los minutos de Zoom. Y son 120 minutos que se genera de asistencia, según el, si usted estuvo conectado las dos horas, le va a generar los 120 minutos. Eh, la sesión está abierta cinco minutos antes de la clase pueden conectarse eh, ya se a veces, y de ahí les empieza a, conectar, a, a contar el tiempo de repente se les cayó el internet tardaron cinco minutos en regresar a la meeting pero como estuvieron desde antes eso a veces les ayuda la asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones la mayoría de veces alrededor de las 8 y 20 y la segunda es a las 9 y 40 se toma como válido al escucharlos a ustedes decir presente. Eh, como les digo, pues por lo mismo de que a veces están las cámaras apagadas y uno está llamando a la persona y la persona no responde. Entonces no se puede tomar como válida esa asistencia. Así que sí es importante que digan presente y aunque tengan la cámara encendida, nosotros lo que estamos viendo al momento de pasar la asistencia es el... el el, el cuadro de Excel donde vamos poniendo si el participante está o no está. Entonces no estoy viendo eh, las cámaras, así que por eso es importante que digan presente. Si no pueden hablar, porque también se nos dan los casos que hay personas que están en reuniones de trabajo y no pueden hablar, entonces escriban en el chat present o here teacher, como ustedes gusten. Um, permisos, dice acá, no disponibles. Esto es, ok, si usted tiene una emergencia, notifíquelo siempre al WhatsApp, al grupo. Mm, es aconsejable que lo hagan al grupo porque si solo le escriben, me pueden escribir directo a mí, no hay ningún problema, pero de repente si los gestores se desean comunicar con usted para, desear, para saber por qué no pudo asistir a la clase, mm, no van a ver nada, no van a, eh, entonces a veces ven en el grupo que usted escribió, no me puedo presentar porque estoy enferma, porque estoy en el IS, por etcétera, entonces eh, le escribieron, no contestó, llamó, no contestó, entonces ellos a veces revisan el WhatsApp eh, en el grupo, entonces dicen, ah, ok, aquí escribió y ya, ya ellos toman nota de eso. Eh, esto se refiere a que yo o, o ningún facilitador tiene la facultad de dar un permiso. A veces ni siquiera respondemos cuando usted dice que va a faltar, porque de repente uno dice, ok, o enterado, lo que se dicen, ah, ok, entonces cuenta como que sí me dio permiso, entonces de repente tienen problemas porque el conteo de minutos no le da. 
Entonces dicen, no, pero me dio permiso el facilitador, entonces ya nos metemos en problemas. Así que nosotros de verdad, lamentablemente, no estamos autorizados como para darles un permiso. Sin embargo, les repito, emergencias suceden y por eso ustedes tienen un margen de un 20% que se les puede eh, dejar pasar, digamos, de inasistencia por esas cuestiones. Pero sí, permisos nosotros no estamos autorizados a otorgar. Es importante si usted tiene alguna dificultad y no puede asistir a la clase, escríbalo en el grupo de WhatsApp, porque al día siguiente los que estén haciendo la revisión de la asistencia les pueden intentar contactar y si usted no tiene su, de, su teléfono a la mano o no puede contestar la llamada, o, entonces ellos revisan el grupo y ahí dicen, ah, ok, aquí está, y entonces ya ellos toman nota. Por eso es importante que toda la comunicación traten de hacerla en el grupo, más que todo cuando sean ese tipo de situaciones. Eh, tenemos un botón de silencio y agradezco que la mayoría, bueno, todos creo que tienen el, el micrófono en silencio, que debe de permanecer así a menos de que estemos participando. Y esto es con el objetivo de evitar el ruido que, que pues no podemos controlar eh, Sí, y que interrumpe la clase. Así es que, pues, gracias a todos. Igual recuerden que el micrófono ustedes lo pueden habilitar cuando necesiten participar o se esté haciendo algún roleplay. Y eh, para eso también tenemos una manita por ahí. Eh, algunos les puede, donde dice participants, eh, tal vez les sale por ahí uno que dice raise hand, o que es levantar la mano. O a algunos les sale donde dice more. Ajá, ahí es donde dice more. Hay tres puntitos y dice more. Puede ser que ahí les aparezca para levantar la mano cuando ustedes quieran participar. Y ahí pues ya se les cede la palabra para que usted habilite su micrófono. Eh, con la cámara ya decimos, eh, de ser posible que permanezca encendida. Y si no se puede, pues escriban en el chat el motivo, en el chat de la meeting, de preferencia, porque queda guardado. Los breakout rooms, esto funciona como hacer un grupo en clases. Nosotros dividimos, eh, hacemos trabajos en grupo. Ustedes solo tienen que dar clic en join o unirse cuando nosotros creamos el, el breakout room. Entonces, join o unirse, si lo tienen en español. En inglés sería join, usted solo hace clic en ese botón. Luego, cuando el tiempo haya terminado, el tiempo para, eh, que se le dio para la actividad grupal, le va a aparecer un mensajito que dice que la, el room se va a cerrar en 59 segundos y hay una cuenta regresiva, le da un minuto. No es que, ay, dice que ya termina el tiempo y ya se sale. No, le da todavía un minuto y automáticamente los regresa a la sesión principal. No es necesario que se salgan. Esto es porque a veces están a medio o terminando de, de hacer su trabajo, entonces ese minutito les da tiempo para que ustedes guarden su trabajo o si estaban haciendo un diálogo, que terminen eh, el diálogo o lo que estuvieran haciendo. Eh, tenemos el botón también Ask for Help, que es para que si cuando están en, en los grupos necesitan que el facilitador llegue a su grupo, nada más presionan ese botón que dice Ask for help y a nosotros eh, nos metemos en el room para ayudarle. Respeto ante todo, mm, afortunadamente no hemos tenido situaciones, ¿verdad?, de que se produzca alguna falta de respeto, sobrenombres o algún tipo de, de bullying, ¿verdad?, y esperaríamos seguir así. Eh, no sé si hay dudas o preguntas hasta acá. ¿Dudas, preguntas? Eliminado no. o no. Ok, gracias por confirmar. Entonces, esta es su, um, su plataforma. Se ve así cuando usted ya ingresa con sus credenciales. Y pues si se fijan, son cuatro sesiones. El curso dura cinco semanas. En esas cinco semanas vamos a cubrir estas cuatro sesiones. Ok. Um, y luego las tareas de las cuales se habla, ahorita vamos a ingresar, aquí pues ven un, eh, aquí es eh, 
están, están los objetivos. Luego, estas que tienen este lapicito así, esas son las tareas que ustedes deben completar. Luego acá, esta pues es la clase. Aquí mañana, ahorita aparece eventualmente un video ahí. Eh, mañana ya estaría sustituido por el video de la clase correspondiente al día anterior, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo único que tienen que trabajar son estas que dicen eh, tarea. Estas las pueden adelantar y en dado caso se equivoquen, pueden corregir y la plataforma les va a ir registrando eh, la última nota que ustedes tuvieron. Por ejemplo, si en el primer intento tuve un 80%, yo quiero llegar al 100, hago un segundo intento y ahí lo logro, ahí queda registrada la nota última que fue el 100, ¿verdad? Entonces así funciona. El manual está justamente acá por si no lo pudieron descargar de WhatsApp o de la plataforma, todavía no lo hayan hecho, es acá. Así que solo pues lo descargan y ya pueden trabajar en su manual. Como les decía, eh, también les mandé una presentación PowerPoint, que es la, más que todo la guía que utilizo porque les incluye de repente ejercicios adicionales, ya que saben que no contamos con audio. Y no tenemos audios en este material, entonces a veces les pongo otros ejercicios relacionados siempre al tema. No vamos a ver nada que no esté en nuestra guía, en nuestro material. Y estos ejercicios pues a veces son de listening, de um, speaking, para que ustedes escuchen los audios, reproduzcan, para, con el objetivo de desarrollar todas las habilidades, ¿verdad? O sea, listening. Uh, speaking, writing, todo eso tratamos de cubrirlo. Y aquí pues donde dice progreso es donde ustedes van a ir viendo. Está homework 1, 2, 3, 4, que es por cada sesión. Luego también hay un midterm exam. Los exámenes están igual. Si ustedes van trabajando en la plataforma, eh, después de la sección 2, encontrarían lo que es el midterm exam. Aquí estaría el examen como de de medio eh, curso, ¿verdad? Y aquí pues ustedes lo hacen, siempre es eh, basado en el, en el manual y pues ahí lo pueden avanzar hasta donde ustedes puedan. La idea es que vayan adelantando y que se vea que hay avance en la plataforma. Uh, ¿Dudas o preguntas hasta acá? También hay un examen final, igual lo van a ver después de la sesión 4, ahí les aparece. ¿Preguntas? No hay preguntas. Piche, piche, uh -huh. el, tiempo, el tiempo como oyente cuenta como tiempo completo. Sí, sí. Media vez usted esté conectado en Zoom, le cuenta. Aunque usted esté nada más como oyente y no pueda participar, pero sí le cuenta. Uh -huh. Aunque al pasar lista no diga presente. O sí, tengo um... que decir presente. Tienen que decir presente o escribir en el chat de la meeting. Porque si usted lo escribe, queda registrado que usted escuchó y que pues escribió. Wow. Y también después que paso lista, a veces bajo, eh, minimizo el Excel y ahí veo quienes han escrito en el chat para, para pues tomarles la asistencia. Ah, ok, gracias. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No questions. Ok. Este es su material, el que hayan descargado. Aquí les aparece en PDF. Eso, cómo se descarga. Hay personas que optan por imprimirlo porque les gusta eh, escribir manualmente en él, tomar anotaciones. Eh, entonces, está bien. Hay otras personas que igual prefieren trabajarlo así, como está acá. Entonces, para modificarlo, ustedes solo, pues, eh, se vienen acá donde dice texto o T, y ahí, pues, eh, van escribiendo o si van a dibujar líneas en él, eh, lo hacen acá y ahí, pues, ustedes van haciendo sus ejercicios como, como les parezca mejor, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto es bastante amigable, lo pueden, como si lo prefieran hacer así en su computadora, that's okay. Y si tienen el chance de imprimirlo porque prefieren escribir, tomar anotaciones sobre él, 
también está, es válido. Ahí como cada quien sienta que le funciona mejor. Eh, ¿Preguntas? No, no questions. Ok. No, ninguna, no. todo. ¿Mm? Ninguna, todo claro. Ok. So, if that's the case, we're going to start. And uh, feel free if you need for me to repeat something, go ahead and tell me. If you need to for me to explain again, ask me to do it. I'm here for that. And yes, as you can see, this is the map of the book. We have uh, four units that we're going to be covering during five weeks. That is the curse. Um, the first unit is the product life cycle. And uh, our competencies for this unit is to describe details about the stages of a product life cycle, make suggestions about how to deal with market saturation, identify reasons for the decline of a product, suggest strategies um, for a business to deal with or decline of a product. The vocabulary that we're going to be studying in this unit is the stage of a product life cycle. For example, market introduction, growth, maturity, decline, causes and strategies for the decline of a product. For example, obsolescence, demand downturn, global competition, co-branding, discontinuation, and innovation. About the grammar, what we're going to be practicing is would rather and would rather much to express preferences. What it is would rather and would prefer. And this is a mistake here. Would rather or would prefer to express preferences. Also, we will be practicing with quantifiers, with countable and non-countable now. Mm -hmm. About the video, we cannot play the videos that are here in the links because we cannot use third party materials. But we find a way to practice watching videos. Uh, readings, article or tips to exploit the product life cycle. Case study, uh, study of the famous product life cycles. The decline of Apple's iPod. Me. For writing, we have to write a short analysis on strategies to deal with market saturation. That is what we're going to be covering in this section number one. Now, to start with, we're going to need the vocabulary related to the product life cycle. So what are the four stages of a product life cycle? Let's read the first one. A volunteer to read this slide. Volunteer Me to teacher. read. Thank you so much, Maria. Uh, since up is opened. As it is often the case. Uh -huh. Okay. As is often the case, um, every product goes through this stage of the product, of the product life cycle. Introduction, introduction state, broad stage, majoring, uh, it's correct, teacher? Maturity. Mature, como, como para con, maturity. 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 Maturity state. Excellent. Decline stage. Okay. In decline. general, decline. Uh, decline stage. In general, each phase in the product life cycle offer a unique wide set of opportunities for markers that factor into the sales of the product. Needles, needles to say, there have been instances in India 
where popular brands have withdrawn nearly launch product due to poor product life cycle management. Therefore, an effective strategic following this stage can play a vital role in defining the chains of success for a product. Very good. Thank you so much for reading, Matiel. Excellent. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, yes. So you see here the four stages, the introduction stage, growth stage, maturity state, and decline stage. And here we have the definition or the explanation of the four stages. Uh, volunteer to read? I can do it. Thank you, Daniel. The introduction stage. This is the stage where the product is developed based on market research and is exposed to the market. Moreover, the product sales rise gradually in the, this phase as the demand and awareness of the product slowly will among consumers. To stage the growth stage. Here, the consumers begin to recognize the brand. Furthermore, the product and its popular popularity begin to trend upward to, at this point, Customers have associated associate, have associate the brand identity with the product. Third, forming a loyal consumer base. Three, the maturity maturity stage. In brief, this stage marks the culmination of the accelerate, accelerate consumers' acceptance of the product. Moreover, the market start to show signs of saturation. And we see the sales slowing down often due to a rise in competition. Four, the decline stage. As so often happens, the product life cycle at this stage witness a significant decline in sales, product popularity, consumer demand, and competit competitors' efforts. Additionally, even though companies renew their efforts to expand a product lifespan, this eventual decline, unfortunately, is almost inevitable. Excellent. Thank you so much for helping us with this slide. I just heard um, you have a very, very nice pronunciation. Just let's review a couple of words which is identity. 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 Consumer. Consumer. And the last, even though. Even though. Aha, uh -huh. excellent, Daniel. Thank you so much for reading. Thank you. Now, now that we have this, um, we have the definitions or the description of every single stage if you remember them, you can go ahead and do the matching exercise that you have on page nine. Uh, look at the definition of the stages of a life cycle, match them to appropriate phase and check your answers here with the class. We're going to check them here. So we have the four stages, just let's match them. You can do it in your uh, material from your computer and let me know when you're ready.
Done, teacher. Well, just the match task. Oh, you finished. Yeah. Do you want to share the screen? Uh, let me see. Yeah, but... Uh, give me one second. Me one. Okay. Uh, There is a pattern, hay un botoncito a la parte del chat que dice share screen y ahí selecciona para compartir la que desea yeah. que vean. Uh, yeah, but I have a trouble because uh, <laughs> I am, well, I am doing the task in my computer. I am in the meeting in my cell phone. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Um, any other volunteer? I can share. Okay, Daniel, thank you. Is look my mm -hmm. my screen? Yes, we can see it. Uh, well, the uh, align have a, a answer. Or anything, I don't know it. Oh. Okay, yes. So we see that letter A, it's it's for the client. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm reading on, or only and you can read it. The product the product is not longer attractive for many customers, sales stop. And the producers start making decision about discontinu discontinuing the product, buying out competitors, or selling in another producer. Uh, I think is the client. That is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, letter B. At this stage, a new product is brought into into the market. The demand of the product might be low and marketing efforts try to develop branding, quality and awareness of the new products to innovators. Uh, that is for market introducing. Uh-huh, market introduction. Thank you, that is correct. Uh, letter C, the growth in sales decrease because there are many competitors, market saturations occurred. The marketing efforts works to differentiate the product and price may, might be lower than in the previous stage. That is for maturity. Excellent. That's correct. And the, and the last one, the new product for Hister and increase in demand because more customers accept it. Accept it. The sales start to grow and there is a uh, little competition. That is for growth. Excellent. All your answers are correct. Thank you so much for sharing, Daniel. Okay. So what about you? Do you have the same answer? Everybody has the same answer. So we have A, decline, B, market introduction, C, maturity, and D, growth. Those are the correct answers. I hope that all of you have the same answer. Thank you so much, Daniel. Now um, we're going to check attendance. So let's say present as soon as you hear your names. Amiga Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores.
Alex Enrique Lemos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Next is Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara. Hey, present, teacher. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra. Guadalupe Alexandra. Hazel Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present. Thank you, Jose. Next is Julissa Yamile. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. And Mario. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Good that you're back. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Victor Noé. Víctor Noé. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you so much, William. Okay, let's continue down with the class. Let me continue sharing my screen to see what's our next exercise. To continue working on page number nine, we have this conversation. As most of you know, uh, the conversations in the um, in support material doesn't have audio, so you have to repeat after me at home and with microphones off. Siempre el primero lo hacemos con micrófonos apagados, pero ustedes pueden hacerlo en casa para evitar pues, las diferentes velocidades de internet generen un poco de desorden. <laughs> so let's repeat. Um, this is a conversation that we see between China and Nelson. Okay, let's start. Have you tried the new green tortillas?
What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere yet. Only low prices mark sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Okay, do we have volunteers to rotate this conversation? Okay, Mike. <laughs> okay, I heard Mario and Aymara. Okay. Can you raise your hand? Okay, Aymara and Mario, thank you. Okay. Have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? I sound like tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? Did you get them? They're, they're not everywhere yet. Only low, low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try cream tortillas. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you so much for practicing, Aymara and Mario. Do we have, a, I have Magdiel, anybody else? Uh -huh. Me. Elizabeth, okay, Magdiel and Elizabeth. I'm Nelson. You are Gina. Okay. Have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They are actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm. They sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tor tortricas. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Magdiel and Elizabeth. You did it great. And okay. let's do two more. Two more volunteers, and then we continue. Emerson, I see your hand here. Emerson, a volunteer to role play with Emerson. A volunteer to help Emerson? Byron, thank you. Emerson and Byron. Hey, well, have you tried the new green tortricas? What's that? It sounds like tor tortillas. They're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where do you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try get I want to try green tortillas. Excellent. Very good job. The last part is like a tongue twister. <laughs> I want to try, try green, try green. Yeah, so yeah, thank you so much. Excellent. Now, um, let us see, we have a vocabulary exercise on page number 10. Yes, after this, we have a vocabulary exercise. Let's um, put a check on the words that are new for you. We have appeal, growth, differentiate, discontinue, withdraw, take off, demand, 
buyout, feature, saturation. Check the ones that are new for you. Finished? Emerson? Yeah, finished. Which one are new for you? Well, for me, the new words, it's um, appeal, appeal and, and buy out. Okay. I know the meaning of buy, but I don't know what it means buy out, the two words. Good. Thank you so much, Emerson. Appeal and buyout are new for you. Anybody else would like to share? Which one are new for you? Aymara, which of these words are you are new for you? Uh, uh, white draw. Withdraw. White okay. Withdraw and appeal. Withdraw and appeal. Mm -hmm. And uh, fish feature too. Ah, feature. feature. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Ground. Hmm? For me, ground. Withdraw, okay. Um, withdraw withdraw a ground and crowd okay and ground anybody else manuel for me uh, withdraw by out and appear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Many of you have appeal in common, withdraw and buy out. Uh huh. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, appeal, for example, uh, I searched for some of them in the dictionary that uh, were probably new for you to have a dictionary definition here. Appeal is um it's like um attractive, something that makes attractive something is the quality in someone or something that makes him, her, or it attractive or interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we have uh, when someone has a sex appeal, <laughs> Spielberg's movies have a wide appeal. This used to be a marvelous hotel, but it has lost its appeal in recent years. So appeal, it's similar to attractive mm -hmm, in meaning. Is clear? Is the definition clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for confirming. Now, Let's continue. Uh, appeal is also um, to request a higher court of law to consider again a decision made by lower court, especially in order to reduce or prevent a punishment. Uh, for example, the teenager has been given leave 
or allowed by the high court to appeal against her two year sentence. So you have two different meanings here. Same word, different meaning. Is the second meaning clear? So appeal can be oh. like uh, something attractive or something related to um, love, right? Es como mm -hmm. apelar o recurrir a... Sorry, Mario. Es como, en el caso de esa, eh, es de la segunda, es como apelar o recurrir a... a... Ajá, una apelación. Entonces son dos significados totalmente diferentes, ¿verdad? Que tiene la palabra, dependiendo de qué la estamos... Eh, eh, si la estamos diciendo que una persona tiene es appealing o a product is appealing... Estamos diciendo que es atractivo, pero también appeal es, eh, significa apelación en el, eh, en el eh, área de lo que se respecta a la ley, ¿verdad? So, yes, two different meanings. Now we have growth. También algunos dijeron que growth es nueva. Eh, volunteer to read about the definition for growth. Volunteer. Thank you, Mario. The growth of a person, the growth of a person, animal, or plant, it is process of increasing in size. An increase in the size of the or the importance of something. A balanced diet is essential for healthy growth. Plant growth is most not noticeable in spring and early summer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, Mario. Um, now, is the meaning of growth clear? Increase in size. Increase in size or amount. Now it's clear? Yes. Excellent. Withdraw, that was another. And it has a different, uh, depending on the circumstances, if it is related to banking, this is the meaning. A volunteer to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Aymara. Okay. Uh, withdraw banking. To make money out of an account. This account allows you to withdraw a maximum daily amount of $500. Withdraw cash funds, savings, the economic crisis, so people, we can say, says, we can. We go how queen queen to white draw their savings. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much, Aymara. So if it is related to banking, it is to take money out from your account. Is it clear? So withdraw, si es en banking, es como retirar. In commerce, volunteer, volunteer to read this one. Me, teacher. Okay, Emerson. Commerce. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh. Commerce. To stop selling a product to or offering a service, usually because of a problem or a fault, the product was withdrawn from the market on safety grounds. The brewery said. There was no connection between their decision to withdraw one of their local beers and the dispute with their main competitor. Mm -hmm. Continue, uh, please. Okay. Uh, to remove to remove to remove something that you previously agreed to provide. Withdraw funding support the opposition treatment to withdraw support for the government's pension plans. Withdraw an application. Be it offer Morgan Stanley withdrew the job offer. 
Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading. As you can see, it's the withdrawal related to commerce of a product or something or services. It is two stops to selling them. It's like you're taking it off from the market. So it's quite similar in meaning the commerce or banking. If it is banking, you take out money. If it is about marketing, you remove or you take out the product or the service from the market. Um, also, it's to stop being involved in a situation, withdrawal. Mm -hmm. Has another meaning. A volunteer to read it? Me, teacher. Thank you, Alex. Okay. To stop being involved in a situation, having a particular responsibility or belonging to an organization. Withdraw from doing uh, as despite the stock market crash, only one corporate investor has withdrawn from the deal. Withdraw has the has he withdraw as a candidate for the democratic presidential nomination. To tell people officially that something you say clearly is not true or correct. Withdraw or a remark plain statement. She was advised to withdraw her statement. The foreign office withdrew advice to holiday markers not to travel to some uh, to some are uh, I can see there mm, to some the far east. Oh, thanks. To some areas in the far east. <clears throat> Withdraw an accusation, allegation, complaint. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Alex, for reading. As you can see, it's a stop being involved in a situation, okay? Uh, withdraw from doing something, okay? Um, despite the stop at the market price, um, only on corporate investor has withdrawn from the deal. It is como retirarse también. Alguien puede, si nos podemos referir a que alguien se retira de algo, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, aquí un, 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 uno de los, eh, de los inversionistas se retira del trato. Withdrawn from the deal. Eh, uh, also también puede ser como... Eh, referente a una opinión, ¿verdad? También se puede retirar algo que uno haya dicho. To tell people officially that something you have said early is not true or correct. Um, withdraw a remark or a statement. She advised to withdraw her statement. Okay, she was advised to withdraw her statement. Okay. Another example: the foreign office withdrew advice to holiday makers not to travel to some areas in the far east. Mm -hmm. So now buy out. Volunteer to read about buyout meaning. Me teacher. Okay, my dear, thank you. Buyout. The act of buying all the part of the company from the people who own it. For example, the, the law firm was active in management buyouts, man, managers, Mer mergers. mergers, mergers, and acquisition. Acquisition. Okay. Thank right. you, teacher. Thank you so much for reading, my dear. So, that has been mergers. Merge is, is, is cuando, como fusionar algo. Fusionar o unir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the second word, acquisition. Acquisition. Um, 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, as you can see, Emerson. Uh -huh. Yeah, teacher, uh, I have a doubt. Well, I know the meaning of buy is uh, comprar, but I don't know is when 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 we say buy out, it's like uh, el efecto o el, la acción de comprar o hacer algo que se compra en el momento. No sé si me voy a entender. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a good question, Emerson. Y por eso les, 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 les ponía acá la definición en, en cuanto a buy out. Siempre va relacionado a comprar. Es, eh, en este caso, eh, un buyout es como la adquisición, digamos, de acciones. Adquirir acciones, como dice la definición, es el acto de comprar todo o parte de una compañía de, de las personas que la poseen. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una compañía y necesito vender acciones porque necesito dinero entonces vendo parte de mi compañía vendo acciones de la compañía entonces a eso se le llama buyout ah, ok, thank you acciones y también eh, también este si de repente es como yo tengo eh, una distribuidora y a mí me piden cierto producto que yo no tengo pero yo no le voy a decir no tengo a mi cliente. Entonces yo voy y lo adquiero de otro lugar, ¿verdad? Y yo ya lo vendo. Eso es también un buyout. Ah, ok, entendido. Gracias. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Um, y creo que ahí cubrimos todas las que eran nuevas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. We had appeal, había mencionado appeal, gold, withdraw, buyout, y Aymara mencionó feature. Yeah, escuché un par que mencionaron feature. Any idea of what is feature? Uh, the features are the characteristics of something. It can, or... Uh, maybe a device, for example. Um, you can say the features of an of a new set. Let's say the feature of an iPhone 13. It has like four back cameras. So those are the features, the characteristics. Mm -hmm. Is it clear now? What are the features? Clear or not clear? Features. I guess it is. Okay, now let's see. The next exercise that you have on page 10 is to choose five of the words from the previous exercises and write a sentence for each word selected. And then we are going to share the sentences. Is it clear? For example, I want to use this word, withdraw. Okay. And I go ahead and write a sentence. Let me unshare. Allow me to into the book because this is easier for me. Okay, I'm going to choose a couple of words here and I'm going to write a sentence. For example, I select appeal, uh, withdraw, I select draw, and uh, feature. So now I have to write sentences using those words. And I click on text. And I can start with uh, appeal.
Okay. So and I have my sentence using appeal. I think that the new logo of our academy is much more appealing. And then I continue writing sentences with the words I selected. You can work in your uh, PDF, or if you have printed it, that's okay. I'll give you time, and then we're going to share your sentences.
Don't teacher. Okay, you can share your sentences via chat or you want to read them? I want to read them. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Okay, the first one is, I see my little dog is growing so fast. The new snack will discontinue due to the excessive spiciness. It occurred a bang attack, so everybody wants to withdraw their money. Samsung brand is in high demand. And yesterday, my cell phone showed me an update with a new feature. Excellent, excellent job, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Me teach uh, Yes, Emerson? Okay, uh, well, I, I'm going to read them. Okay, perfect. Well, the first one, uh, Microsoft is going to discontinue Windows XP operating system. The citizens do an appeal to the police in order to improve their work. The new laptops got a touch screen as a feature. In about three days, my beer has grown. Having children demands a lot of time. Excellent. Excellent sentences and very good to use connectors. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, Emerson. Anybody else? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, driving my car has some appeal for me because my family and I were having many competition, we buy all the other stores. When I started to study English, my professional career take off. My new cell phone has a new feature to record slow motion video. I cannot differentiate my own cell phone among these others. Excellent. Very well done. I see that you're making a good use of the new words, new vocabulary. Perfect. Thank you, Alex. Anybody else? I, I, Thank I you, Daniel. Uh, the saturation market begin the economic bubble. I have buy out in Apple, but I withdraw all stocks. I think the new car of Jeep is very appealing. My tablet have a new feature in the system. The demand of the iPhone increased the next year. Oh, will increase next year. Do you think so? No, <laughs> but that for, for the phrase, I think that works good. Excellent, really good. Excellent. That's the idea. If you, uh, the idea is to do something, right? <laughs> Inventing. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing, Daniel. Excellent job. Anybody else? Would someone else like to share? You can read them or you can write them in the meeting chat. If you're shy to speak. <laughs> okay, nobody else? Okay, I will continue sharing the screen. Okay, we finished the vocabulary practice. And then we have uh, this conversation. As I was telling you at the beginning, we're going to be expressing preferences using would rather or would prefer. This is a conversation between Rina and Julio. Let's see. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing.
You're right. Although it is not surprised with this competition. I agree. We must picture a solution to deal with the market saturation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, we have invested a lot of in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Do you have any doubts or any question about this dialogue? Uh, me teacher have a question mm -hmm. after the wet rudder red what does it mean that we rather relaunch uh-huh uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean that uh, it's like um we launch a new product but then for some reason it stopped selling and the, the sales are decreasing. So we present the product to the market again, maybe with a new feature or a new image. So that is a relaunch, a relaunching. Oh uh, yeah, I get it. This is a, a, a relaunch. Mm -hmm. We launch okay. a new product and this is fine and it is selling. And then we realize that the product is decreasing sales and say, we need to do something. We are going to add a new feature and relaunch the product to the market at something new. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good question. Martin, any other? What's the meaning of auto in the, when you just says, you're right, alto. Uh, although it's um the is to connect the ideas and it is it was saying aunque aunque mm -hmm. está conectando las ideas es haciendo un contraste verdad aunque aunque no 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 es una sorpresa con esta competencia Auto. Any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, let's listen volunteers. Volunteers to right play. Magdiel, thank you. I volunteer to work with Magdiel. Um, Aymara, thank you. Okay. The, the sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. 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 You are right. Decreasing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are right, although it is no surprise with this competition. I agree. We must feature a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, however, we have invested a lot, a lot in this product. We rather rather relaunch. I no veo. I can see. I can't see. The finish. We rather. Um, we the rather relaunch the product that discontinue it. Uh huh. Excellent. 
Thank you so much, I'm Maria and my deal. Uh, do we have two more volunteers? May switch role the play. Excellent. Role yes, you can switch. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they're decreasing. You're right. Also, also, is this no surprise with this competi competition? I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the products, you know. However, we have investigated a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Excellent. Excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. Any other two? Julissa? Okay, we have Julissa. And Jose Enrique, thank you. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they re they are, uh, they are decreasing. Decreasing. Okay. You're right. Although it is not surprised with this competition. I agree. We must feature a solution to deal with market market sat saturation. Saturation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product, you know? How However, we have invested a lot in this product with Rater relaunch the product that discontinuing it. Very good. Thank you so much for practicing with us. So let's review a couple of words here. However, however, rather discontinue. Would you like to change roles? Okay. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. 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 Mm-hmm. Lisa? Okay, uh, I read. You're right, although it is not surprised with this competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, we have invested a lot in this product with rather the relaunch the product than discon discontinue it. Then discontinue it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for practicing it. Now, uh, let's continue. But before that, we have to check attendance. I'm going to stop sharing for a while. Mm. Check back the attendance. So remember, if it is possible to turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your names. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemus Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Present 
decía Noemí Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Petrudis Aymara. Petrudis Aymara. Guadalupe Alexandra. Guadalupe Alexandra. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. José Enrique. Present. Thank you. Yulisa y Amile. Present, teacher. Thank you, Yulisa. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present. Thank you so much. Magdiel Saúl. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ma Manuel Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you so much. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Idal Byron. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And let's see our participants. So I'm checking here. And Daniel, uh, you're not in the list, right? So, ¿es el único de que no aparece en la lista de los que mencionamos, Daniel? Creo. Los demás Estoy infiltrado, al parecer. Pero yo sí, sí, es el proceso y todo, así que no sé. Ok. Um, si usted escríbame su nombre completo en el chat para preguntar mañana. I'm present, teacher. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Is it in your chat and I'm meeting? No, no me aparece el un mensajito. Ah, ya vi. Se envió en privado. Uh, igual debería poder verlo, pero qué raro que no. No lo no miro. Ok, ya. Yeah. Okay. Voy a consultar mañana uh, para que lo agreguen en la lista o verifiquen si, si está en el grupo correcto.
que debería de estar, ¿verdad? Pero hacen cosas. Okay. Let me continue sharing and let's go ahead with the next exercise. It's about the conversation that we just practiced. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. Um, and let's see. Now, we have a true and false exercise and it's related to the um, conversation. Discuss the answers based on the information from the conversation that we just practiced. It says, if a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue. Is it true or false? If sales decrease, they stop growing. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to consider if the answers are true or false, and then we discuss.
Okay, so what do you have? Number one, if a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue. Is that true or false? Following the conversation, I guess that is true. Mm -hmm. It's true, correct, Alex. Thank you so much. If sales decrease, they stop growing? True. Mm -hmm. That is true. Now, Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product? True. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely correct. Now, um, do you have any question of this exercise? No questions? Okay, let's do a new shirt. Um, we have our first, um, this is like a recap and also to show how does it work. This is the first exercise that we have about this unit and it's basically the same vocabulary that we have been practicing. Let us check here in the platform. It says that um, the product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product, buying out competitors or selling it to another product. Is it maturity, growth or decline or marketing production? Decline. Decline? Let's see decline. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be low and marketing efforts to try to develop branding, quality, and awareness of the new product to innovators. Mark introduction. Okay. The growth in sales decreases because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing effort to work to different products and prices might be lower than in the previous stages. Decline. Decline? Yes. Okay, let's check decline. The new registers an increase in demand because more customers accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. Grow. 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 Okay. Let's send your answers. Y tenemos parcialmente correcto. Veamos cuál está mal. Es la primera. Decline. Es maturity. Es maturity. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the it's like confusing because it's like very similar y hay un juego de palabras que a veces puede ser dar un poquito de problemas y, y confundirnos. Pero sí, así nos debe de quedar el primer ejercicio y eso era más o menos para mostrarle a las personas eh, nuevos estudiantes que les dimos la bienvenida al principio, pero si no estaban al principio de la clase, pues otra vez bienvenidos. Eh, que es su primera vez con nosotros con inglés corporativo, así funciona la plataforma. Y pues sí, es como se van haciendo, hay diferentes ejercicios, algunos de solo seleccionar, multiple choice, seleccionamos y enviamos. Si recuerdan, la primera nos dijo el 15 de 20, que estaba parcialmente correcto, luego corregimos y nos dio 20 de 20. Entonces este es el resultado que guarda la plataforma porque queríamos lograr el total de puntos. Luego, pues, se pueden ir moviendo 
a lo siguiente que también es el vocabulario que ya vimos en esta sección y pueden adelantarse. Esto pues todavía no lo hemos visto, pero es de ordenar las palabras para crear oraciones. Es algo bastante simple. Y recuerden que pueden trabajar, la plataforma está habilitada 24-7. And there is no limit. You can uh, work on the platform for hours if you want. But there's something, sometimes happens that if you have been working or you have had the platform like open, it got stuck. So what you have to do is to refresh here so that you can continue working. Um, do you have any question on how does the platform work? What about the vocabulary exercise that we just did? No questions? I think, well, maybe not about the platform, but I'm not in the WhatsApp group that you say before. Oh, oh, you are not in the WhatsApp group? Or... No, no, I'm not. Um, you receive an email with a no. link? No. I haven't received an email. With the link for the Zoom meeting? Yes, but for the Zoom meeting, uh, I don't have. You should have a, a link for the Zoom meeting, another for the platform, another for the videos and another for the WhatsApp group. Mm. Did you find it? Mm. No. I just have received the the meeting link that okay. 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 Um. Okay, I'm going to send you the link because I cannot add you. The link, I'm sending it in the meeting chat. Did you see the link? It says whatsapp.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. just have to click on that link on your um, device, on your cell phone, or you can open WhatsApp on your computer okay. and it, it will be added to the group automatically. Any other question? No more question? It's okay so far. Okay, so thank you so much for joining today's meeting. That's it for today and see you tomorrow for more. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, teacher. See you. Have a good one. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Could you get into the group, Alex? Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I think you're going to join the group, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Ah, pues yeah. ya está en el grupo. Okay. Um, just that no, tomorrow I'm going to send you the presentation because then you don't have anything that we've been sending recently. Ah, yes, nothing. It's that I haven't received it. I've just received a email from the MIT, but I've not received anything. You have it already? Yes, it's already in the group, so you can see all what we've been sending through the group of WhatsApp. Thank you so much for joining the group of WhatsApp. Thank you so much for joining. Nice meeting you and see you tomorrow. Bye.
ചെയ്യും fancy shirt ഉം nice ഉം ഇട്ടിട്ട്